Okay, so this video is going to go through the VCAR 2012 um, exam 2, module 5, question 1. So, the water, pump, water will be pumped from a dam to eight locations on a farm. The pump and the eight locations, including the house, are shown as vertices in the network diagram below. The numbers on the edges joining the vertices give the shortest distance in metres between the locations. So the three questions we're asked to begin with, determine the shortest distance between the house and the pump, how many of the vertices on the network have an odd degree, and the total length of all of the edges in the network is 1,180, a journey starting and finishing at the house, travelling along each edge in the network once, determine the shortest distance travelled. So the first question, the shortest distance between the house and the pump. So obviously you need to look at all the possible pathways between the house and the pump. So just by inspection, we can see that the shortest path will be actually travelling along that 70 edge and down the 90, and that would give us 160. Now we can test some of the other pathways, and whenever you asked for a shortest path like this, um, it is just a matter of writing out all of the possible pathways, adding up the distances, and finding the minimum, or the shortest one. But this one's pretty easy just to see. So in that case, it's 160 metres for that first question. Um, how many of the vertices in the network diagram have an odd degree? So in this case, they're talking about the number of edges leaving each vertex. So if we start from the left-hand side, we have an even one here, because there's two. This one at the top has four edges, so that's another even. Below that, one, two, three, four, so even. The house has one, two, three, four, five edges, so it's actually an odd edge. I'm going to circle that so we can remember. Below that, we have one, two, three, four, so another even. This one in the centre here, another four, so that's even. At the bottom, we have four, even. The pump has two, so even. And finally, this top one here has five, so that's another odd edge. So in response to that second question, how many vertices have an odd degree? There are two. Now, remember, if a, if a graph has two odd vertices, it tells you that you will have an Euler path, but not an Euler circuit. And the Euler path will begin and end at either of those two odd vertices. So that's important information to be able to answer the next question. So the total length of all of the edges, so they're telling you all of the edges added together is 1,180 metres. A journey starts and finishes at the house, travelling along every edge in the network determine the shortest distance. The house has an odd vert is an odd vertex, so we know we can get an Euler path that starts at the house, but that means it's going to finish at this second odd vertice at the top here. So if we have to finish at the house, that means I'm going to have to go over another edge more than once to end up back at the house. And obviously the shortest way of doing that to get from this odd vertice back to the house is travelling along that edge of 70. So that means that our total distance will be the 1,180 plus 70. So in total, our distance will be 1,250 metres. So whilst it seems like a long and complicated question, if you understand the definitions behind it and the theory behind the two odd vertices, it's actually a very easy one to answer. And that's why it's in there in question one. The next part of the question then goes on to look at um, minimal spanning trees. So, the total length of pipe that supplies water from the pump to the eight houses on the farm is a minimum. This minimum length of pipe is laid along some edges in the network. On the diagram below, draw the minimum length of pipe that is needed to supply all the locations on the farm. So they want us at this point to draw in our minimal spanning tree. So the way I do it is I start with smallest edges on the graph. So anywhere the smallest number. And we can see that the smallest number we've given is 40. So let's just highlight those edges that are 40. And we've got three of them. And remember, for a minimum spanning tree, you want one less number of edges than there are vertices. And in this graph, we have nine vertices, so we need eight edges. So far, we've put three onto the graph. And you also want no closed shapes, no loops. So you want it to be an open tree. Okay, so we've done our 40s. The next smallest number is 50. So let's draw those in. We've got one down the bottom here and one connecting into the house there. Okay, next smallest number, 60. So we've only got 
the 60 here. And that's it. Next smallest number, 70. If we start adding all those 70s though, we have to be careful that we don't create any of those closed shapes, any loops. So once I get to this point, I actually only have two vertices left I need to connect. One of them is right back here at the start and the other is the pump. So you can actually shortcut to now saying, well, what's the shortest way of connecting over to this vertex? And that's using the 70 along that edge. What's the shortest edge in order to connect the pump? And that would be the 80 along this edge. At that point, just check, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, edges. We said we had nine vertices, and so that means we have enough edges to have made a tree. And also, always just double check that you haven't created any loops in there anywhere. So that's given us our answer for part one. Part two, what is the mathematical term that is used to describe the minimum length in part one? Well, we've already said that. That's a minimal spanning tree. Be really careful that you are specific with the language. Don't get confused about different things. Some common mistakes, we're calling it a... Um, max flow or a minimum cut, all right? Be really clear that you know what it is that you're talking about. And in this case, where we've created the smallest possible spanning tree, that's our minimal spanning tree. Hope that's helped.